The 75th Cannes Film Festival, after two weeks of standing ovations and walkouts, is coming to a close this evening of May 28, 2022. The festival was back to its usual glitz and glamour this year culminating in this evening's closing ceremony, where the jury, presided by French actor Vincent Linden, revealed this year's award winners and a surprising Palme d'Or. In the opening ceremony, which was held on May 17, American actor and producer Forrest Whitaker had received an honorary Palme d'Or for his career. At the press conference, Whitaker said that can changed his life and the trajectory of his career. A few days later, Tom Cruise was awarded a surprise honorary Palme d'Or by the festival. The actor was in Cannes for the world premiere of Top Gun, Maverick. This year's jury comprised of Numi Ripas, Rebecca Hall, Askar Farhadi, Joachim Dreyer, and Vincent Linden, who loved their status as jury so much that they demanded to continue being juries for the next four years, their president jested. The coveted Palme d'Or was awarded to Triangle of Sadness, directed by Ruben Erstland. In his acceptance speech, Erstland said that they wanted to make a thought-provoking film, hoping that after watching it the audience would talk about it. Set in the world of fashion, this satire follows a pair of models, Carl and Yaya, as they become stranded on a desert island with a group of billionaires and a cleaning lady. The film received an eight-minute-long ovation at its premiere. Erstland won the Palme d'Or in 2017 for The Square. Neon bought the North American rights to the film. The Grand Prix was awarded to two films, Luca Stantz Close and Claire Dennis Stars at Noon. Clara Dennis thanked the jury and the festival. Dennis said she had spotted Margaret Qualley in Quentin Tarantino's film and had found her extraordinary. Set in Nicaragua, this romantic thriller, Stars at Noon, based on a novel by Dennis Johnson, stars Margaret Qualley, Joe Alwyn, and Robert Pattinson. The film follows, Trish, played by Qualley, a freelance journalist. The film was acquired by A24 for North America. Lucas Dunn's tender coming-of-age film, Close, is the story of a close-knit friendship between two teenage boys, Leo and Remy, played respectively by Eden Dambrin and Gustav de Waal. The Belgian director won the Camarador in 2018 for his first feature film, Girl. Close is produced by Menuet with Diaphana Films, Top Copy Films, and Versus Production, in co-production with BTVTM and RTBF, and is being sold worldwide by The Match Factory. In his acceptance speech, Don said he wanted to make a film about tenderness between men, he dedicated the film to those who have the courage to choose love.